Hallelujah, praise God. Shalom, beloved family. I welcome each and every one in the mighty name of Jesus. This is a word and declaration with Lynette. If this is your first time seeing me or coming across my channel, you are very much welcome again. Thank you so much. God bless you. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe so you will become part of this beautiful family. And as for those returning as family, thank you all so much for always coming back. I love you and I will keep praying for you all in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we thank you for this word that is about to come forth. I pray whoever this prophetic word is concerned, Lord, you open their spirit so they can receive and get their transformation speedily in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for your grace. We thank you for your favor. Lord, we thank you for protection. Above all, we are grateful. We have come today to say thank you for everything you have done for us in the mighty name of Jesus and everything that you prepare to do for us. Lord, we are ready to receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord says, I should tell you, delete this contact immediately. You have to delete this number from your phone immediately. Now, this is so serious and it's for your own good. This is someone that is close to you. This person is a friend to you, but there is a negative aura around this person. This person has a negative energy and it's not good for you. You might not know how this thing is affecting you, but trust me, it is having a negative impact on you. This person is always complaining. Each time they are around you, they say negative things about others. They don't see good in people. But this is because that is their reality. They are always having one ill luck or the other. That is the reason why each time they see something good happening to someone, they don't talk about it. They feel like they should talk more on the negative things that are happening to that person. And this is affecting your mind. Sometimes you realize that you have good news. Something nice happens to you and you don't even know how to communicate it with them because you feel like... They, they are going to envy you. You feel like they are going to look at you and feel and, and, and think good things happen only to you. This is affecting you. You have to stay away from this person. I'm not saying that when someone has ill luck or when someone is going through something, you just abandon them. But it is not healthy for you. This is because there is a strong spirit that is following this person. All you need to do is avoid her for now and keep praying for her. I pray may God give you the wisdom to go about this i pray may god teach you how to take this decision i pray that when you separate yourself from this person there's going to be a natural distance that will not cause any problem in the mighty name of jesus amen you know sometimes when we say things like this people feel like you're trying to separate yourself from people it's like maybe when someone is going through something you avoid them that's not what i'm talking about when something negative is happening around someone all the times, you don't know how this happened, but gradually your life starts taking that same direction. There is a say that what you listen to, the environment you stay in, you become. How your mind, to how you reason, that's who you become. So when you stay around negative environment for a very long time, negative things start happening to you. So please, try to guard your heart with diligence. That's what the Bible says. We should guard our heart with diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. I pray God give you wisdom in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I hope you receive this word with gladness. Please do not forget to turn on your notification bell so whenever I upload new content, you will be the first to know. I love you all so much, family. I'll see you in our next session. God bless you. Shalom.